The second mark pair. Okay, lower the sausage. Come on, lower it more. Where's the makeup? said Harvey sure. are you with us mate just testing my instrument captain yeah well point it over this way space cadet come on aye aye sir in the West. Advertising is so mindless, but it always pays the best. Biggest hot dog in the world today, Mrs. Berkowitz. Someone's got to do it. leave on Sunday, 25th. They're talking 5,000, but I pointed out if they want the best, they'll have to pay Bless you. Leave it to me. I think we can squeeze it for 7,000 plus expenses. Okay, any problems, ring me. Ciao. Hi, Arm. Jude. Remember Dad's home movies you were going to transfer to video? Well, where are they, darling brother? Uncle Julius wants to take copies back to the old country. He's only here for another two weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wiggle out of this one, Boris. Oh, by the way, I found another one of Dad's movies in the basement. It's the whole family at Christmas. I put it in the mail. Make an effort, little brother. Ring me today. You should watch the news tonight, Mr. Denton. Australian Federal Police confirmed that there was a break-in at the offices of the Royal Commission into the British nuclear tests. The break-in early Saturday morning has raised fears about the safety of top-secret documents held by the Commission. The documents, many of them so secret that some barristers appearing before the Commission have been denied access, contained classified and detailed information about the tests conducted in Australia by the British from 1952 until 1964.
Great pair of legs, half. Don't encourage your father. Go to sleep now. Come on. I hope you're not sleepy. Out. He thinks he wants me to leave? Can't you stay tonight? You can sleep in my bed. No, matey. You sleep tight. Battles to fight. Give us a hug. We'll have no, all you your might. And no dog. Oh, come on, Pat. A kid his age needs a dog. He needs a father with brains. He needs mates to kick a footy with, things like that. Abby, who's going to look after this dog, huh? Who's going to wash it? Who's going to feed it? Look, you don't wash a dog. It's bad for him. Feeding it? Look, Don can do that. He's six years old, for God's sakes. He wouldn't know which end of a can opener to use. It'll be me again, won't it? Pat, I told you, this plant's getting too much sun. It needs shade. It's an indoor plant. Look, I could call round every other day. No, you couldn't. It's taken me three months to get him used to this. A child his age needs routine, stability. That's just what a dog will give him. Routine, stability. Look, wait till you see this, puppies. Irresistible, just like me. Well, that's just what I need, Spot. But Dom likes to have me around. Please, Harvey. No dog. You used to too, remember? One child in the house was enough. Lean meat, bones. No can shit. It's what you give a dog. Don't forget, you promised to show cartoons at his party on Sunday. Now go home. I oh, am yeah, home. Is there anything else stolen? Apart from the films? No, nothing. You don't make blue movies, do you, Harvey? Oh, come off it. What was on these films? Oh, like I said, it's home movies and some other stuff my father shot when I was a kid. Who'd want to steal home movies? Andy Warhol? I love the smell of palm trees in the morning. Night palm, you pleb. Harvey, you said these films were 16 mil. 
Yeah. Most home movies are super eight, aren't they? My father was a professional cameraman. He made docos, movie tone news, stuff like that. So on the weekends, he'd bring home the leftover stock and do the family pics. You're sure there's nothing in these films that someone else might want? Yeah, sure. No other unusual scenes? No. Sydney today, Australian Federal Police confirmed that there was a break-in at the offices Find of the anything? Royal Commission into the British nuclear tests. No, nothing. What's that? Running sheet. Of the news? Hmm. Let me see it. Why is number seven scrubbed out? Not enough time. Technical problem. Oh, would that be the only reason? It happens all the time. Well, could we find out exactly? Hmm? Ron, that dent in here. Fine. Last night's news, item seven was scrubbed. They what? What was it about? I mean, did you see it? Sitting in Adelaide, heard a sworn statement by a veteran of the atomic tests who claimed he had evidence to prove that nomadic Aborigines died as a direct result of the tests. Can't you be more specific? The witness specific? refused to elaborate when pressed by Justice McKenzie and instead accused the British and Australian governments of a whitewash. Thanks, bye. The Commission will now travel to Melbourne where... I don't know what it stands for. It's just called a D-notice. It has to do with national security. What? You mean... Anyone can march in here and confiscate tapes. No, not anyone. Intelligence, ASIO. It's only happened once since I've been here, during the Falklands War. Did he say what was on the tapes? No, all he'd say was it came from the Adelaide station. Something about a plane being dug up. Plane? What's the connection? Probably none. What about my films? Don't ask me, ask ASIO. Can I help you, sir? Really sure. Uh, this is Asia. That's correct, sir. Who would you like to see? I don't really know exactly. Um, well, the duty officer handles general inquiries. Your name, sir? Denton. Harvey Denton. If you'd like to take a seat, Mr. Denton. There's Mr. Denton in reception. I don't know. Where's that middle camera? Why don't you just sit and wait for the duty officer, sir? Is that middle camera upstairs? Where's the bloke on that camera? Just sit and wait, sir. It's got my bloody film! Hey, listen, mate, hey, you!
for Studenten. My name is Tony Trebilka. I'm the officer in charge of this Look, section. the films, that's, uh, that's all I want. They're on their way up now. I think you can leave now, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, you certainly put a little excitement into their day. Would you like a drink? I'm afraid I've only got Perrier, is it okay? Yeah, fine. Surprised us all turning up like this. Look, I just want the films back. I must apologize for the way in which they were seized. Some of us are trying to upgrade the image of the organization, but old habits die hard, I suppose. We have a real problem, uh, sit down. Attracting the uh, caliber of personnel we want. Cheers. What do you know about your father's death? My father? He drowned off the coast of, uh, South. Where'd you get this? What was he doing when he died? Well, he was a cameraman. He, he died when I... He was working for the army. He was filming the British A-bomb tests. We believe that is your father. Shot through the head. Close range. Recognize this? Uh, um, I think so. Yes. I'll just place them on the desk. Thanks, Jenny. This plane was buried in November 54. They flew it through the mushroom cloud. It was so radioactive they had to bury it. They dug it up for the Royal Commission. The body was a complete surprise. Why would... We don't know. So... The film's... Nothing.
Julius. Yes, Uncle. Oh, Harvey, did you receive the present? Oh, look, thanks again for the socks, Uncle. Just in case if it couldn't come out before I left, I asked Judy to send them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be up the first chance I get. Listen, is Judy there? I have to speak to her for a minute. Yeah. Judy, it's Harvey. Harvey. Hello. Hey, listen, uh, you mentioned something about a burglary, Judy. Uh, I guess it was just some local kids up to mischief. By the way, um, do you remember the exact date of Dad's death? Um, let me think. 12th of November. And that was 1953, wasn't it? No, no, I was just, just wondering, um... Listen, I'll ring you before I come up. All right, I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye. Hang on. Don't forget to video the home movies. No, no, consider it done. And from the Prime Minister and President Reagan, reaffirming both nations wish to continue a strong and dynamic security relationship. Both sides stress the importance of the ANZUS Treaty and of continued cooperation on defence and other matters under the Alliance. Australia is a responsible ANZUS ally, an important trading partner, and a trusted friend. AIDS did not rule out that discussion on the Star Wars project or US bases in Australia may take place over the next few days. And in Melbourne, the last week of the Royal Commission into the British Atomic Tests is underway. Pat Denton filed this report after this morning's session. The first day's hearing at the Commission in Melbourne has been both emotional and sensational. Claims by Australian atomic test veterans and Aborigines have been categorically denied by legal counsel for the British government. Also today, details were released concerning the discovery of a radioactively contaminated aircraft dug up in the South Australian desert. When questioned, British representatives would make no comment. Excuse me, Mr. Hawkins, do you have any comment to make about allegations of a radioactive aircraft dug up in South Australia? Well, at this stage, it appears the British are maintaining a stiff upper lip, knowing that next week marks the end of the Commission's investigations, and time is running out. This is Pat Denton at the Royal Commission. A meteorologist, scientists and fallout experts agreed it was completely safe. There was absolutely no possibility of contamination or risk to the population centres of Australia. And you did take into account the possibility of fallout affecting Aboriginals? Of course, we got along very well with the Aborigines. At one stage, we even supplied them with blankets. It uh, gets very cold out in the Nullarbor. And when some American colonels visited, we showed them the Blacks' camp. That was a service we provided. Just like Disneyland. <laughs> he said he came across a whole lot of dead Aboriginals. Him and two other servicemen. They reported. <coughs> Next day he was transferred, I think. I never saw him again. Your Honor, I... I'm a little lost as to what to even say. Then sit down and don't say anything, Mr. Hawking. If Your Honor will permit me. Yes. What is it? The witness is wasting the Commission's time. His evidence is only hearsay. There is no point... Your Honor, Mr. Valentine <coughs> should be allowed to finish his testimony. Agreed. Sit down, Mr. Continue. Uh, this thing about the dead Aboriginals was going about. Everyone was talking about it, all the servicemen. And as a consequence, there was some sort of parade, and you were addressed by one of the British officers. Uh, we were told to forget what happened. He said the British government paid a lot of money for the test. The news about the incident got out of hand. And when he addressed you, how would you describe the way in which he spoke? He spoke to us like they all spoke to us. Like a little pommy turd speaking to the colonials. <laughs> telling us what we had to do. Or else. Your Honour. If I were you, Mr Hawking, I'd quit while I was behind. Or else what? He reminded us that we'd signed the Secrecy Act. If we broke it, we could go to jail or be put to death. Mr. Ballantyne, you were stationed for some weeks near Camp Port Excuse Curry me. in the forward area of the Maralinga test site. Yes, sir. That's right. On page 13... Don't get involved. Four, you say Leave it to us. Even at the time, you thought it was odd that everything was so... Open. Don't get involved. 
My father was murdered. It's our job. We have the resources and the Listen, money. listen. Just hear me. What about the fence? Look, I've been doing some thinking about this. No, just, just tell me if I'm right or wrong. You don't have to say anything. We cannot divulge anything. You don't have to divulge anything. Just tell me if I'm right or wrong, all right? You always find Aboriginals on the wrong side of the fence. Okay. Went out once to patrol. One. Flex hunters wandered in. I think my father saw something or filmed something he wasn't supposed to. And whatever that film was, has got some major bearing on this, right? Listen. Well, you haven't said no, have you? I want to find out who killed him and why he was killed. Listen to me. This thing is a damn sight bigger than you think. You do not have all the pertinent information. It's a political minefield, and you go blundering about. You could mess it up. Just leave it to the people. No way, man. Come on. What would you do? You find out your father was murdered, what would you do? Call Mrs. Trilby Jabal Jari. I want you to tell the, all the people here, what did you think you saw? We thought, we thought the great white snake loudly digging water holes. Was it a big noise? Loud noise. And, and what did you call it? Poilu. Poilu. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, the, the black miss, Your Honour. Please go on. So, would you tell the court again about the boil? What, what was it? The sticky black cloud. And where did it come? Fell on the trees, on the ground. Mm -hmm. And, and the, what happened to the people? The people became sick, vomiting, sore eyes, right. and some died. There were deaths. It's a taboo, Your Honour. My people aren't allowed to speak of the dead. It would help in the event of compensation to your people. Compensation? You killed their dreaming. I see Mr. Hawking has something to entertain us with. Do you wish to cross-examine the witness? No, Your Honour. But given the opportunity to say anything at all, I should like to express the disadvantage we all suffer, with due respect to my learned friend, in not being versed in tribal Aboriginal mythology. And to restate our strong objection at anecdotal evidence and the reliance upon that, from choice witnesses. Yes, we've heard you before on that. Your Honour, my people assert that members of their family and tribes died. Tribal custom prevents them from talking about it. Your Honour, we keep hearing of reports of sickness, blindness and death from areas which we contend could not possibly have been affected. But where is this hard evidence? <laughs> was him. Who? Oh. The Asia bloke. It's all come out about the plane. Mm. Nothing about a body. Look, I saw the photos. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I'm off. But I want to know everything that happens. Okay? Sure. <clears throat> See ya. Denton? Yeah? Carl Denton? No, his son. Thought you were too young. 
We saw your father's films of the bomb tests. Spent a lot of time with my people. Do you uh, have an interest in this? Perhaps. What sort of interest? Don't know yet. Is your father still alive? No, he died in uh, 1953. Pity. Would have liked to talk to him. Anyone who was there. It's our word against the uh, experts. After all, we're only simple tribesmen. Anything might help us. The smallest memory, souvenir, anything. I've got a date somewhere around what? the beginning. Around the beginning of November 1953. November 1953? Yeah. November 1953? Put your hand up. <laughs> We're close at six o'clock. If you're not out by then, I'm out of search, Barry. <laughs> 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 Stock. Isn't that unusual for a cameraman to process and print his own material? Nah, army stuff, see? Top secret. We weren't allowed to touch it. Army blokes did all around stuff. <laughs> Afraid of Reds hiding in the dark room. <laughs> yeah, thanks for your help. Hey, how is your father? He died. Give him more regards. <laughs> Subject. The British Avon tests in the 50s. Oh, the Royal Commission biz I got most of that. Besides, it's classified anyway. You need ministerial permission. Uh, but uh, uh, this is where they're stored. Classified. Oh, there is one other. Um, it's a film about basic training. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, it's um, A Day in the Life of a Regular Soldier. It was made in, uh, in 1959. Look, I know it's late, but if you could just tell me if it's here, I'll know whether it's worth coming back tomorrow. All right. All right. Now, what was it called again? A day in the life of, of a regular, regular soldier. soldier. Yeah. 1959. That's right. Well, thanks for your help. Mm. Now the computer's down.
eyes of the world are on Maralinga, a remote village on the edge of Australia's great desert, as man's most revolutionary discovery, the atom bomb, is tested. The veil of secrecy is lifted for the visit of the Australian Prime Minister, Mr Menzies, who finds that the atomic atmosphere is developing healthy young Australians. At the site itself, last-minute preparations are completed. Construction of dugouts and trenches for the protection of scientific instruments to record the blast. Dummies are dressed and placed in strategic spots to test the effects of the exploding atom on military clothing and equipment. Where the conditions are just right, so the variant carrying this awesome weapon heads for the target. The firing control desk flashes its message. The countdown begins, and it's back to the blast. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Our Australian servicemen get the best view of all, only a mile from ground zero. A triumph for British scientists and the Australian technicians who made possible the tests at Madalinga. You were told then to say that the atomic cloud was a rain cloud. Well, it was suggested. So you were instructed to lie to the Australian public and in fact to cover it up. Yes. And subsequently, Sir William Penny, the director of the test, expressed concern. Look, I found a film. I'm not sure what it is. It's uh, deserted huts, vehicles, army stuff, but there's no name to identify what it is. X200, just a coordinate on the map. It's a top secret facility. They demolished it straight after the bomb test. It was agreed that there be any reaction. I'll deny it. Look, come to my place after about 10 o'clock. I'll write it down for you. Whereas the observed trajectory three hours after the explosion was quite the opposite. Yes. Quite a variation. 
There must have been a wind change in the upper atmosphere. You can't always predict them. To your knowledge, were there any settlements in the path of the atomic cloud? No. Look at this, they just fled. You don't know where this camp is? No. Well, all we do know is whoever was there left in a hurry. Why? Easy, avoid some sort of danger. Unplanned event? Accident? Yeah, yeah, like an atomic bomb going off. Well, that would be incredible if there was some proof. What do you think that is? That is some empty buildings. Look, there's got to be more. He shot 400 feet of film. Now, there's 340 there, so there's 60 feet still missing. 60 feet. Now, that could be the proof for everything the British are denying. the story of the year. It could be more than that, you know? What are you going to do with that? Guys with me. Woodward and Bernstein, eh? Leave me the copy. Why? Precaution. You never know. All right, swap. This for dinner tonight. You don't give up, do you? On one condition, change your shirt and have a shower. You're on. Molly's seven o'clock. you blokes missed it. You didn't make any copies, did you? <laughs> no, it cut me off at the pass. It's not all there, you know. All the last couple of minutes are missing, and uh, that's just the print. I couldn't find the negative. Oh, I am impressed. If you ever feel like a change in career, now I'll leave that to you, fellas. About I'm out, but my answering machine is always in. Please don't waste your call. Leave a message after the beep.
Times greater, and I'm one of them. Now those hoons, who the hell are they? They're not mine, it's the British. They want to destroy the film. Now whatever you do, don't move till we get there. Where are you? Denton, where are you? Denton! Finishes hearing evidence this week. But there still may be hope. A test veteran claims to have solid evidence. His name is Prosper Gaffney, and we have him on the phone right now from Nillenbrook in South Australia. Hello, Mr Gaffney. You claim to have evidence which will expose what really went on during the tests in the 50s. I said before we started, I didn't come to talk about that. Yes, but you said that... Are you daft? I said the time will come and the whole world will know I'm here to talk about the Royal Commission because it's a farce. Nothing will come of it. It's a whitewash and they'll all burn in hell. And Atlee and Lord In the British Parliament, Mrs. Thatcher. And she can burn too. We'll all burn together. This evidence that you claim to have. In hell. But the fires won't be hot enough. Hot enough to make up for the sins. Not a thousand years of burning. Not a thousand years of burning. This is important. I have to do it for my dad. Well, you'd do it for me, wouldn't you? Yeah, I suppose. Good boy. Now listen, put your mum back on, Dom. Hey, and Dom, Dom. Listen, I really love you, son. Where were you? I waited an hour. They murdered him, the ATO guy. What are you talking about? Outside the restaurant. I can't talk. Your phone's probably bugged or something. But just make sure someone's with you and Dom all the time, okay? Harvey, what's happening? It's the film. They want the film. The tape. They destroyed it. Who? The British Asia. I don't know yet. Harvey? We're a team, aren't we? Harvey? Take care of yourself. Yeah, don't worry about me. I do.
Excuse me, I'm... I'm looking for Prosper Gaffney. Thank you. Prosper Gaffney? You're disturbing my work, Miss Off. Well... You left a message on the telephone machine. Who told you that? I recognize the voice. What voice? Find out. I suppose you've got a name. Harvey Denton. Well, mister. Mr. Denton. I'll not be the one to spoil the good name of Outback Hospitality. So you can stay the night. Then you can bugger off back to wherever it was you sprung from. Then I saw the first one blow. It was 
as if the earth cracked open and we'd release the fires of hell. Smash the bush. Not a living thing, miles. And that great big black cloud. Hey, Charlie. The scientists cheered and danced a jig. And Charlie and all his lot got the legacy. One mighty explosion. And you pay for it for the rest of your life. The day of retribution is upon us. And we shall all burn. What's on the film? Take it to the commission. That's a circus. The Aboriginal legal guy. Black man in a white man's suit. Not trust anybody. That's where your father made his mistake. Just uh, come back here. Quick, Billy! Me and Rubaria. Mama, I'm going to buy you. Hello. Hello, Neil. He says he knew his father. He was a good friend of his father. Marilyn, good business. Billy. My father and I, we got lost. It was the devil's work. As soon as I saw the place and knew that, keep a big place like that secret. Something unnatural was going on there. The Geiger counter was almost off the scale. Silly buggers. The thought of everything, except the wind changing. I wanted to piss off, but your father, he wanted to take some shots. I stayed on guard by the jeep with Charlie there. He was gone a long time. When he came back, it was really strange. He wouldn't tell us what he'd seen, but he, he told me not to mention we'd ever been near the place. A week later, he came back, and he, he wanted me to drive him to the bush again. He was in a great hurry. When we got to where we were going, he, he told me to stay by the jeep. He had a box that he wouldn't let out of his sight. But I snuck a look at it while he was asleep. There was a film can in it. I didn't have to guess what it was. A few days after we got back to base, he was transferred And I never saw him again. They murdered him.
Gone for a piss or something. I'll find him. Hmm? Now! Hang on, I'll just wake up. Uh. All right, all right.
up at 400 feet! ID, please, sir. What are American soldiers doing out here? Under the Joint Facilities Treaty, this property is under the jurisdiction of the government of the United States of America. Yes, off. Driver's license, do? Thank you. It's okay, they'll check with Asia. Listen to me. I told them. I said we'd stumbled on something. I didn't know what he shot. They said he'd been transferred. He was my mate. I was drunk. Nothing changes. Only the accents. The bloody uniforms. We're leaving. What are you doing? Drive. I'm leaving. Get out? What are you talking about? I know what I'm doing. Out.
Denton here. I'm out, but my answering machine as always is in. I got the negative, all of it. They came to the station. There's a D note. Come on, we've got to get a print no, made. No, don't give it to me. I can't. Let's go. It. We'll do it back at the no, station. No, they'll only take it. Look, they won't even know we're there. Harvey, there's no time now. What do you mean there's no time? There's no time. Oh, look. You don't Where's understand. Your car? I do. You don't understand. What's the problem? Look, you know what people have been through for this. Just listen. Just oh, listen. Piss off, will ya? Come on, we got to go. They put a D notice on the film. It'll be buried forever. Let him go. Look, the commission is winding up. They've only got about an hour to go. In there is your only chance. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take that. No way. Excuse me, would you mind telling me what all this is about? Switch that off. Could you give me your name? Under what authority are you detaining this Look, man? Just switch off that camera. Excuse me, would you mind telling me who you're... Re ...cooperation from the British government in regard to the question of availability and access to assist and claims of my government being obstructionist have been unwarranted. And unfair. I've got it. Every effort. What is this? It's... I've got important evidence. It's the film I told you about, Mr. Wallamari. What the hell's happening here? Your Honor, this could be vital evidence. Order! Somebody tell me what's going on. I've got a film, and it's important evidence for this commission, Your Honor. You're in contempt. Your Honor, I request the adjournment Honor, so we can. Please, Your Honor, shut up! up. Shut up! Everybody shut up! This is my commission, you listen to me. Look, this is important evidence, would you believe me? In these chambers I decide what's important. There are procedures for presenting evidence. Look, that's what I want to do, but they're trying to stop me because they know what's on this film. What have you got? It'd better be bloody good. This evidence cannot be accepted Quiet at this time. Yeah. This film proves that it's all lies. Where was this film taken? It was taken at Emu Field near Maralinga. Under the terms of this commission, it is neither right nor the proper at this stage. The outcome of this commission will decide that. Is that it? Yes, this is the film. Your Honor. This film comes under the Military Secrets Act, signed by Prime Minister Menzies, and it is therefore classified. Bullshit! Don't listen that's to enough, him! That's enough. You are acting in an official capacity, Mr. Trevilco. Bailiff. Bailiff, the film, please. All right. You can have the film. But it has to be printed. Now I want to be there when it's printed, and I want Mr. Wallamari with me. You, sir, accompany me to my chambers. This commission will adjourn mm. until further notice. All right. So you haven't actually seen what's on this film? Well, that's the negative, but I've seen part of a print Wrong. struck from that. Obviously, I cannot allow anyone to see this film until it's been viewed by us and we've determined its security status. If Mr. Denton's right about what's on this film, it could affect my findings. Now, if you seize the film, I'll subpoena it. Too many people know it exists. The legal battle's going to hold me up and it'll be bad publicity for you fellas. What I'm suggesting is I view the film. No, hang on, that's my film and I've got a right to see it. The film belongs to the government. It can only be viewed by an appointed agent with a security clearance. I am an appointed agent. So what I'll do is I'll view the film and then report to you. Can you do that straight away? 
I can't tell you what's on the film, but I can tell you if I'll be subpoenaing it. Mr. Trebilco. no image. The laboratory said it was long-term exposure to radiation, cobalt-60. You're advised to have a medical checkup as soon as possible. Oh. That can't be true. Let me see it. He done. He done something to it. He swapped it over, you bastards. He done to the fucking film. They swapped it. Look. Expose this. I'm telling you, if it's the last fucking thing I do, I'll expose it. I will. Go home and forget about it. The film was all that mattered. We both lost. Then just go home and forget about it. Berkowitz. Oh, she moved out a few days ago. I'm the new tenant. Could you get out of my way, please? You're a bloody spy, aren't you? You tell Templecock I know what's going on. No more of his bullshit. You tell him that, all right? You tell him to leave me. Then at a press conference after the final round of talks, the Prime Minister confirmed that the American lease on the US secret installations base at Pine Gap would be renewed. The Royal Commission into the British nuclear tests wound up its investigation today after sitting for over 11 months. We now cross live to our Commission reporter, Pat Denton, who was there for the final session. It's been an emotional last day at the nuclear test inquiry. Time seems to have run out for Aborigines and Test Veterans. And yet, unanswered questions still hang like a nuclear cloud over the whole Australian-British Joint Test project. Everyone's on the set. If you don't get your tail down here, quick spot. injury and deaths? Will they spend the billions of dollars necessary to clean up their deadly mess? Well, whatever the outcome, it appears that Aborigines and Test Veterans may once again be the innocent victims of a secret political agenda. A few hours ago, a man disrupted the inquiry, okay, claiming he had a film machine. proving British deceit. Official sources later announced it was a hoax. But would need no further details. This is Pat Denton. He said I might get squashed by a truck. G'day, matey. Listen, don't worry about what your mother said. We'll all sit down and talk about it, all right? Oh, just a little while ago. Did you find your dad's film? Actually, Dom, something happened to it. What happened, Dad? Dad? I tried to find out. I, I did try. I'll explain it to you later, Dom. I'm really tired. That's what you were blind. Dad? What happened to my grandfather? He just died, matey. When? A long 
long time ago. He tried to help some people. You see, fathers, they're just like everyone else. They die. Yes, Dom. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs>